Hi, this week we've been launching or rolling out our new seasonal espresso blend. We've changed the components to a Colombian and Ethiopian mix. And I thought it'd be a really nice time to talk about our approach to blending and how we go about creating an espresso blend. I'm also gonna give you a chance to win some coffee. Uh, something a little bit different this time. We've got three bags of coffee here, one bag of our blend, but I've also got two bags, one each of the components to see if you can create a better blend than we have. And more details about how to win this coffee a little bit later on. We've always had at least one blend on our range. It's something that we've stuck to since day one. We believe that blends have a place. They did fall out of fashion slightly and a lot of roasters moved across to single origin espressos but we've stuck to our guns. We like the idea of a blend, we believe in using a blend, and even though occasionally we've dabbled in the odd single origin espresso, the core of our coffee sales have always been our espresso blends. There were different reasons for creating a blend. Um, historically, quite often, a blend would be created to save a bit of money for the coffee company. You could put um, a percentage of low grade coffee into your blend and bring the production price down, making it much easier to sell. There's also a way of blending that creates a consistent flavor profile. So if you're a coffee company, a branded coffee company who wants the same flavor month in, month out, year in, year out, you will blend together lots and lots of coffees and roast them a little bit darker and the idea is that as those coffees change from season to season, year to year, um, the skill they have is blending in different coffees to maintain the same flavour profile throughout. And we take a slightly different approach. We want our blend to change. We want the character and style of the blend to change as we follow the seasonal harvest around the world. And we've just moved to a Colombian Ethiopian blend that kind of reflects what's current at the moment. One of our main reasons for blending is we think that we can put coffees in there that are a bit more exciting, a bit more interesting, and add a bit more complexity to the cup. But we also think blending makes us a better coffee roaster. And I'll explain a little bit about that shortly. The story of any of our blends starts a long time before the blend is launched and you get to try it. We work really closely with our sourcing partner, Macanta. Uh, they're a coffee broker who look after our coffee buying for us. And we're working months in advance to look at the current stock of coffee we have and when we're gonna be running out and looking at what's coming in, what's available and where we're gonna to move to. And over the years, we've started to go back to the same farms and same regions year on year because we've built up this knowledge of blends. So in the current blend, which is um, Inza Belen from Colombia, the Inza region we've used a lot of coffee from in the past. So we go back to that with this kind of knowledge of what it's gonna bring for us. Um, whereas Kefabonga, which is the Ethiopian component, is a new one for us. So it's been really interesting to get to grips with that. We do have to bear in mind things like uh, availability and the volume that's available to us. If the coffee isn't going to land in time, we have to make last minute adjustments if we're going to run out of coffee before um, our planned components arrive in the country. But usually by now, we've kind of got really slick at the whole process. So eventually the coffee lands here and we need time to roast it, rest it and test it. So we put the first roast through based upon our historical profiles of coffee that we know about. Like I said before, the inns that we've used before, similar coffees. Um, we've used Ethiopian coffees before. So we'll apply our knowledge of previous coffees to the coffees that are arriving and we'll have a good go at roasting them. And it's really important we rest that coffee for seven to 10 days before even thinking about trying to understand what we've got. And there are two things we're looking for in that coffee. The first is we obviously want to look at the flavour. Are we getting the flavour notes we want? The kind of flavour notes are going to complement each other. Are they going to work for us? 
But really importantly, and something that maybe people don't talk about so much, we're looking at the solubility of the components. And this is what's really sharpened our coffee roasting over the years. Those components need to work together. They need to behave together in the grinder, in the espresso machine, in the same way. If they don't, if they don't have that kind of similar behavior, similar solubility, they're gonna jar with each other. They're not gonna complement each other. Now, if you take the example of a single origin coffee, where you just use a single bean in that, um, in that espresso, if it's slightly less soluble or slightly lighter roasted, you can make a finer adjustment on your grinder and you can compensate for that. Similarly, if it's got a lot of solubility, if it's a little bit heavier roasted, you can go a little bit coarser and you can manage it. When you've got one, more than one component, that's not so easy. We've had cases in the past where the two coffees behaved completely differently when we first roasted them, which means one tended towards under extraction whilst the other was spot on, or one tended towards over extraction whilst the other was spot on. And no matter how hard you try, you can't compensate because any grind adjustment works for one component, but doesn't work for the other. So you have to go back to the roast and you have to start to unpick what it is about the roast that's affecting that behavior and that solubility in the grinder and the machine. And sometimes we have to re-roast a couple of times and retest until we're happy that we've got the two components gelling together. We can tell it's worked when we can taste flavor in the espresso. And that's the one thing I have learned. If I can pick out just taste, as in acidity, bitterness, and sweetness, but I can't pin down flavor descriptors, then it's likely that my components are jarring against each other. They're not allowing the flavors of each to kind of come through. If I get them blended well, if they're working together well and they're, they're behaving the same, then flavors a lot more apparent in the cup. It's only then at that point that we start to work on the blend components itself. Do we want more or less of one component in the coffee? Now, and here's the little offer we have for you, the little competition we have for you. We're going to give away our espresso, but also the components separately for you, for you to have a play with blending the coffee yourself. So we've got a bag of our espresso, a bag of the Inza from Colombia, and a bag of the Kefabonga from Ethiopia for you to play with to see if you can create maybe a better blend than we have, or at least a blend that suits your flavor profile that you enjoy. We use the 60-40 blend. That's where we settled on, and we played around with more of the Inza, less of the Inza, but that's where we set our hearts on, and that's what you have in the bag of espresso. So if you'd like to have a go, if you'd like to have a go at winning this, I'm gonna give away six sets of this coffee. Um, it's not something we'd normally do. We don't sell these individually, so you'll be quite a unique thing here. Um, have a look at the link in the description below to take you to our competition page and have a go. The winners will be drawn at random and there'll be a chance for you to have a crack at this and we would love to know how you get on with blending your own coffee. We might actually learn something from you. If you've got any thoughts, questions about blends, um, anything you've always wanted to ask, please feel free to get in touch and I will get back to you. In the meantime, thanks for watching and get onto that competition and see if you can win some of these bags of coffee.